One woman's vision to reach her community has turned into a dedicated army of volunteers in Rock Hill. This group is helping to feed hundreds of people. Our South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin got to watch them brave a chilly morning so that they can make Thanksgiving possible for so many families. I would like to wish you a happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. It starts with a friendly greeting, followed by food for people who don't get enough. It means a lot for me and my wife to get by. Three days a week, cars line up near this makeshift distribution center on Mount Holly Road outside Rock Hill. The truck from Second Harvest Food Bank pulled in at 730. It was right at freezing when boxes and boxes of food arrived to be sorted by volunteers. Jennifer Fisher struggled to describe how it makes her feel. You can't explain it. It's just, it's just a joy. It's just a joy to give. The incredible woman who started all this did it because she grew up with nothing. At first, she was doing all the cooking and feeding people from her own home. I came up with 19 siblings with my grandmother because my mother passed when I was one years old, and we didn't have food. She started the Love and Cherish Food Pantry, and now Mary Roseboro feeds everyone who shows up. Some take what they get and pay it forward. I fed uh, 29 people out of my home. I cooked up the food. When he's not in school, 10-year-old Donovan Franklin volunteers along with his friends. We try to put a little bit of everything in each box so you can see we got some meat in there, we got some fruit, some vegetables. Maybe just as valuable, some caring and some compassion too. In Rock Hill, Greg Suskin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Passing on blessings. The Love and Cherish Food Pantry is hoping to build a permanent building on that site. That way they can expand the services to serve more seniors and even cook meals for children after school.